the first thing we're going to talk about this week um, is the brand new tattoo that Miss Katie Lynn got. And I have to show this to everybody. Let me show it to y'all first. Um, I just want to make sure this works. So here's the tattoo. Dun, uh, da, da, da. Now I'm showing this to y'all, but Katie Lynn cannot see this right now. I'm just showing no. it to y'all. Katie, can you tell us about the tattoo, what it says, and what what the uh, what the um, what it means? Like, what's the story behind it? Yeah. Um. So there's a joke to this too. Um. But it's a tattoo, obviously, <laughs> that um, my boy Charles Chapman did. He did my arm too. If I'm sure you guys have seen it here and there or something. But um, he posted um that design and I was wanting to get a tattoo um for my dad that recently passed away back in August um just and I thought the lantern I was like that's awesome and I've been listening to a song a lot this is the funny part I never thought I would get lyrics from Coldplay tattooed on myself but I did and <laughs> but it's really good lyrics um, so it's a cu it's, it's cut funny. off at the bottom so what what does it say what are the lyrics Oh, uh, there's another picture of it somewhere, but it says, uh, the light that you left me will ever glow. And it's from Everglow by Coldplay. Right. Very cool stuff. I saw this tattoo and I was like, wow. First of all, I've never had my thigh tattooed. So it, this... it was, a, okay, I was there forever, but like I said, that's my boy. So we just, you know, bullshit chatting forever. Yeah, it's just chatting. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I got there at like three o'clock and I didn't get home till 1 a.m. or something like that so uh but we it was probably about seven or eight hours yeah of like just straight but it was brutal my arm uh it took about nine and it didn't bother me hardly mm. at all I mean like the pat like the last couple hours were pretty rough but this leg I mean brutal I was almost crying well did you have to put your I leg in like an awkward position or were you at least no, comfortable I was just like sitting like sit up straight okay like sitting and yeah. like like he was just over my tattoo like like that awful mm. oh. so when but i got when i got my ankle done i had to sit almost like in stirrups like i was pregnant or something and like my <laughs> leg had to be bent this way almost oh it was rough it was rough well, it was rough for me too because it doesn't sound that bad but when you're sitting up straight for seven to eight <laughs> yeah i'm just sitting, just sitting still just, just uh, being in one spot for seven or eight hours, yeah. and like not moving, like, whew, I can't imagine. Yeah, it was so, rough. <laughs> for those of you that uh, may not know, um, Katie's dad passed away um, late. What, was it late last year? Remind yeah, me. Yeah, in it was, August. Uh, it was August. Yeah, so mm -hmm. end of the summer. Um, just an incredible guy. Um, every time I was around him, he perked me up and <laughs> that's not easy to do but your dad was um something else a man of few words and um when he spoke he meant it right yeah you remember those shirts we got made um remind me that had my dad's face on them. okay yep yep and it said that's uh what daryl said or something like that <laughs> or that's what daryl said so do you still have some of them shirts I don't, okay, we have, like, a couple. Like, my mom has one. I think I have one somewhere. You know, like, a few people have them, but we should bring that. <laughs> yeah, I just, I always remember the the the, um, the videos of, uh, was it him and, and Sal from, was it Sal? Tommy. It Tommy was... from, from AGT? I, 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 I think it was uh, Tommy. So, it was Sal, that's his cousin, Tommy. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the hot rods and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. And mm -hmm. the, you know, to Tommy. I forget his last name. But, um, yeah, they would uh, meet outside, like, every morning outside the hotel. And Tommy would be smoking a cigar. My dad go outside and smoke his cigarettes. You know, they just sit outside in the morning. Or, like, they just go sit and smoke out in front of the hotel. Mm -hmm. Your dad They're always had the through. same two words for me every time I saw him. It never changed. It was always, what's new? And it would it just didn't matter. Like what what's new? And that would be it. Like that's all he would say. And that would start the conversation. 
What's new? It's so funny because he is a man of few words, but he likes all the information. I know. So, like, mm-hmm. what's new? You know, okay. You, <laughs> I saw one the other day, uh, a comment on my Facebook on a post or something. And so, not a lot of people know this, but my dad loved Facebook. And he had an account, but he didn't want to use it because there was nothing happening on it, is what he said. Mm-hmm. So, he was always locked into my mom's. Right. So, he was just going through her <laughs> And he would comment stuff on my page. That's my mom. Well, I know. Like, this is dad. I know. I know. He was a frequent commenter on YouTube yeah. in the. <laughs> we talked about uh, two or three weeks ago where we talked about online bullying and how how absolute how absolutely rude people were. During your AGT run, she was 12 years old, guys. And if you could see some of these dang comments on YouTube, it was disgusting. But um, your dad was on there all the freaking time, just like a damn goalie, like keeping the damn ball out of the net. You know what I mean? <laughs> just defending his girl. Uh, just a, a, a one of a kind guy. I'm blessed to have known him, and I love the tattoo. It looks great. It looks really, really good. Thank you. You're I well. appreciate it. I think the pain was well worth it. Of course, of course. 